1 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. Eight persons, including five police personnel, embraced martyrdom in a blast outside Data Darbar in Lahore today. The special assistant to the Prime Minister on Information has reiterated the government's commitment to eradicate terrorism from the country. Pakistan has overwhelmingly been re-elected as member of the United Nations Economic and Social Council. The Iranian president says Tehran will resume high-level enrichment of uranium if the major world powers did not keep their promises under a nuclear agreement. The first one day international cricket match between Pakistan and England is being played in London today. And now the news in detail. Eight persons, including five police personnel, embraced martyrdom while 25 others were injured in a blast outside Data Darbar in Lahore today. According to the police, the injured have been shifted to Mayo Hospital. The police have cordoned off the area and investigations into the nature of the blast are underway. The President Dr. Arif Alvi and Prime Minister Imran Khan have strongly condemned the blast outside Data Darbar in Lahore. They deplored the loss of precious innocent lives in the incident. The President Dr. Arif Alvi said those involved in such desp despicable incident in the holy month of Ramadan are misguided elements. Prime Minister Imran Khan sought a report from the authorities and directed the health officials to ensure best possible medical treatment for those injured in the incident. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information, Dr. Pradosh Ashikawan, has reiterated the government's commitment to eradicate terrorism from the country. Talking to Pakistan Television today, she said remnants of terrorists have tried to prove their existence by targeting innocent people at Data Darbar in Lahore today. The Special Assistant said the government will bring the perpetrators of the attack to justice and take the country to progress and prosperity. Dr. Firdaus Ashikawan said anti-Pakistan forces have been conspiring to destabilize Pakistan, but they will not succeed in their plots. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has emphasized on utilizing artificial intelligence to diagnose and prevent diseases. Addressing a ceremony of the Eye Bank at the Al Shifa Eye Trust Hospital in Rawalpindi today, he said prevention is better than treatment and early diagnosis of diseases through modern technology can help check diseases. The president said joint efforts should be made for the treatment of eye diseases and transplant of corneas. Today, diagnosis of eye diseases, for example, diabetic retinopathy and so many others, is something which is, should be done earlier. And in this connection, the use of artificial intelligence, the use of mobile ability to scan the eye, and the fact that it is being done in countries throughout the world speaks volumes about the fact that it should be done in Pakistan also. We must increase our reach. The National Assembly was informed today that Naya Pakistan Housing Authority bill will soon be laid before the parliament for approval. The Minister for Housing, Tariq Bashir Chima, informed the House during question hour that this authority will provide one window facility to the private sector for the construction of five million houses. He said the Prime Minister has launched the housing projects in Islamabad, Koita and Okara and construction work on the sites will soon commence. Pakistan and Iran have agreed to collaborate to check smuggling of petroleum products at the Pakistan-Iran border. The understanding came during a meeting between the Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Petroleum, Nadeem Babur, and the Iranian Ambassador to Pakistan, Mahdi Khunardos, in Islamabad today. In occupied Kashmir, the chairman, Hurriyat Forum Mirwais Omar Farooq, chaired a joint meeting of Awami Action Committee, Anjumane Aukaf Jamia Masjid, and Anjumane Nusratul Islam in Sirinagar to finalize the program in connection with the Martyrdom Week commencing from the 16th of this month.
Pakistan has been re-elected with the highest number of votes as a member of the United Nations Economic and Social Council, talking to APP Pakistan's representative to the United Nations, Dr. Maliha Lodi, said in secret balloting in the 54-member council, Pakistan secured 48 votes to retain its seat on the 18-member Commission on Narcotics Drugs for four-year term beginning from the 1st of January 2020. The Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, has said Iran will resume high-level enrichment of uranium if the major world powers did not keep their promises under a nuclear agreement. In a speech broadcast on television, he said the remaining signatories, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, China and Russia, had 60 days to implement their promises to protect Iran's oil and banking sectors from American sanctions. And finally, cricket, the first one-day international match of the five-match series between Pakistan and England will be played at London today. The match will start at 1700 hours Pakistan Standard Time. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.